Okay. Uh, head coach Justin Wilcox will take questions. Hey, coach, what was the conversation at halftime? Um, to boil it down, it was something to the effect of we we played about as bad as we could play in the first half, and we're down two scores, so let's go play as good as we can play and try to win the game. It was ultimately about, ex I mean, it's just execution. There's no magic speech. There's, uh, you know, guys uh, in, the, in the first half, we just could, couldn't get out of our own way, really, on in every phase. I mean, opening kickoff, it's uncharacteristic to have Ashton to make that mistake. And then offensively, we couldn't stay on the field. And defensively, we weren't getting off the field. So, you know, talk about how we need to do that better and execute the plays and then give ourselves a chance to win. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I wish I could say it was a speech. It was the play in the second half that uh, decided the game. Um, I think it's just uh, you know, the next step for us and really just couldn't be more proud of the way the guys compete. And I thought that showed tonight. I mean, down 14 didn't really do much in the first half to build a lot of confidence, but came out and played confident and competed hard and and uh, just proud of them for that, you know, and, you know, the the streak and all that, you know, we don't we didn't even talk about it. I didn't even know about it until somebody brought it up on on Monday. I mean, you know, we're not playing against the streaks. We're not playing against the past. We're playing against the guys in the other uniforms and we just need to find a way to play better than they do. And uh, we're still a work in progress, but just really proud of how the guys competed and fought and found a way to win it. The sideline camera caught you a couple of times and it looked like you First thing is chase to get the first down, you know, uh, and then, uh, yeah, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Poor decision. Nico learned from it. Nico had a really good punt return earlier, and Nico's doing some good things, and he's a young guy making, uh, you know, this playing a lot. But uh, Nico's going to be a good player, and yeah, you just want to play smart. We need to play smart. Uh, we can do that better and better, and we, we're going to need to play smarter and tougher next week. Just about everything. Have you ever been part of a 22 yard safety football? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. A lot of plays in the football bank. Um, I don't know. It's possible. You know, things happen. I mean, you know, we didn't have every, every uh, you know, play go our way either. You know, I think mean, we, we had the long touchdown run called back and probably a hold that we didn't need to make or whatever. So that's kind of football. So you can tell by the way the players were celebrating with the fans after the game that this one was extra special to them. What did you have to say to them in the locker room afterwards? Just that I'm proud of them. And I think it, uh, you know, the, the guys are tough and they compete and they play for each other. And, you know, I think uh, there's belief amongst them, which is really in the end all that matters. You know, I know that there's going to be moments when you have ups and downs and you're, we're building where our program's going. There's these little dips, but we've had them this year um, and they'll happen during a game, but to continue to fight and play for each other and have confidence in yourself and it just, you know, validates that and they believe in each other. And like I said before, we're not the, you know, we're always the, the prettiest bunch, uh, but they're finding a way and that's what I'm, I'm most proud of is, uh, you know, just continue to fight. We kept it, and then you know we blocked. And I thought Chase played well in the second half. I mean, the, the throw on against zero blitz to to Vic, that's a heck of a throw against heavy pressure. And Vic, you know, made a great play on it too. And um, I think it's just across the board. You know, it's it's everybody, O line, D line, the guys blocking and battling and just grinding it out, you know, three yards, four yards, seven, you know, just continuing. And that's hard to do, you know, when they're not coming in big chunks sometimes, but they're just, you know, a gritty bunch of guys. So. Yeah, that was uh, coaches. This as my decision. That's between Vic and I, and we're moving forward. Yeah, I mean, kind of embodies what we're all about. And we got a lot of those guys, and I know, uh, you know, just his, uh, you know, the run to finish it, you know, it's just huge. And the blocking and the uh, the extra two yards here or there, I mean, those things matter. And, uh, you know, he is, uh, 
you know, Cal through and through. He's what we're all about, and smart guy, tough guy, and and uh, finding a way. So. Oh, Luke. I haven't, yeah, again, hard watching the tape, but without watching the tape, but you noticed him. Luke's really been pretty dang good all year. He's a steady guy. Brings it every day. Um, he showed up more and more, and uh, he does a lot of things that probably don't show up here that help us play good. And uh, you know, and with Weave and, and Jordan playing like they are, and then you know, we weren't as uh, we were, weren't making quite as many plays in the secondary early in the game as we usually do. Now you got to some of that's due to the guys they're playing against are really good, but uh, you know, I think all those guys, especially on defense, they got a really good camaraderie. They play really hard for each other. There's no you know, nobody's sacred, you know, it's about they'll rotate and it's it's just a, a group that plays really hard together and that gives you a, a heck of a chance. Yeah, Travion's just gotten better and better and uh, Travion is, I wouldn't even say, he's just not big. I mean, Travion's is not, not a big guy. He's got elite quickness and he's really smart. I mean, he's probably one of the smartest, if not the, on the defense. Sometimes maybe too, too much for his own good, but he, uh, he made some really good plays today. I mean, the fake field goal and uh, made a couple plays like on a screen and then the interception was huge. And, you know, he disguised the coverage, started outside of two, slid inside of two, the slot receiver and kind of baited the guy. It was an awesome play. And uh, we need Travion to keep growing as a player because he can keep getting better and better and uh, kind of just kind of epitomizes what the group's about, you know? So. Had another big game on defense. Does he sort of set the tone on toughness for the D? I mean, it, Weave's a tough guy. I mean, we've talked about this before. Weave's a throwback through and through. Uh, but there's a lot of tough guys on the defense, and he's one of them for sure. Uh, I'm not sure there's any tougher, but there's a lot of tough guys playing defense for us. So that's part of it. Um, and he uh, it's just week in, week out. I mean, the guy is just tackling a lot of people. And he gets off of blocks and gets people on the ground. And that's what that position is built for. So he's doing a, a hell of a job. I think it's, I don't know if it's my faith. It's just our faith in each other, you know? I think guys wanted to go out there. I mean, the whole time they're talking the second half, like this is how we want it, you know? That's, we wanted to, they want that test. You know, we know we're going against a, a really talented team. It's got really good scheme and they, they want the test, you know? And you don't win every play, but to be able to line back up and, you know, want to want to play the next play and not being afraid to put yourself out there because, yeah, I mean, you're going against some good players and you can get beat once in a while, but to line back up and do it again and do it again. And I think that's just the attitude they take. And uh, so I think uh, that showed tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wish there was a, a drill that you did to just win close games. I think it's more of a, a mentality and a, uh, you know, a, a belief and learning how to win, you know, learning how to win. And so I think we're doing that. I don't, we're, we're not really even close to where we think we could be or need to be as a program, but we're getting there. So, and it has everything to do with the people in the program. So. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, you know, to get bowl eligible and uh, know that those guys had such a, a big part in all of this, it's a, uh, it's one of our goals. You know, is to win a bowl game. That's one of our goals, and uh, to put ourselves in a position to do that. It's awesome, and I want them to enjoy that and feel good about it because it is a big deal. Um, and that needs to become, you know, kind of an expectation uh, and not hoping to get there, but you're expecting to get there and what it takes to get there. And uh, now it's about finishing. You know, we know we got a, a heck of an opportunity um, next weekend against an opponent we all know about. And uh, I know our guys, I want them to enjoy it tonight and, and tomorrow and feel great. And then Monday, man, we're, we're working. So. Well, I think if you know by how you prepare, uh, you can't 
want and hope. I mean, everybody wants to win. Everybody hopes you win, but I think you got to put in the work and you got to prove it to yourself so you can play confident. You got to earn the right to do that in the off season. And our, our guys have done it. And um, to go through some ups and downs and have some uh, some points during this season where it hasn't been easy, you know, and still believe and still come to work with the same attitude. And that's that's hard to do. And they've done a great job of that. And uh, so that's what I, I just respect the heck out of the guys on our team for that. And we're going to that really needs to be how it is. You know, that needs to be part of our DNA, our identity.